welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, I said I would do this level over again. I did do it over again, but then I was like, fuck it, it's too hard. So I'm just like, screw it, I'm just gonna do it some other time. So, I got a better rating than I did last time, so that's a start. And, uh, yeah. Now, for some reason, my, my uh, Dazzles had a habit of, like, doing really bad quality today. I don't know why. I thought I was playing the old Kirby 64 music, what the hell? So how this battle works basically is it's a one hit fight against all the old bosses. And one hit will kill them, but you gotta fight all the bosses over again, so... Except of course for like DDD and Meta Knight, but... to hurt you. And how this works basically is you gotta get to the door in any possible way you can. And escape. I think I actually did a video a long time ago about this fight, so... Oh, it's you again, my old friend. Kappa Marty, my old friend. My old friend. That was the easiest fucking fight in the world. Oh, wow. Fucking didn't. You fucking didn't. Thank you. There we are. I think I lost some money. Yep, there you go. See the quality flash? Of death. Oh, we cut the platforms out, okay. That wasn't mean. Someone be trolling. Oh, get out, get out, get out. You dick, sir. You double dick, sir. Is my fucking quality doing this? I killed him. I didn't do good enough. I didn't do good enough. Oh, obviously, we just obviously why? You'll never do good enough at that part. I was gonna say, oh, I forgot what the part. <laughs> Yes, Yin Yarn was not the well he was the evil one, but he was not the final boss. This is His evil sewing needles, apparently, are the demonic weapon. I don't know. But then again, Meta Knight's always the nicest person alive, so.
Backing. Shit. The fact, Dolan. The fact. Seriously, stop it. Much money as he possibly can before he finishes. And that's it. <laughs> the end. They still live. They lived, by the way. They lived. And the quality, what are you doing that for? Oh no, it's only doing it on my TV, okay. I was hoping for another fight. I'm not gonna fix the quality of the TV right now. With Yin Yarn's spell broken, Dreamland returned to its normal state of peace and quiet. I guess this is goodbye, Fluff said. It made Kirby sad to see his new friend leave. Buck up, Kirby. As long as you have this magic sock, you can visit me anytime. Until then, Fluff said as he returned to Patchland. And that's the story of how Kirby and Prince Fluff defeated Yin Yarn the Sorcerer. And restored peace to Dreamland. And that's the part where the LP ends? No, not actually. Uh, we still have bonus levels and another bonus part of the game that I didn't show yet. Besides the buying all the items in the game. Which I don't believe we finished. So, that was the sort of the end. We're almost at the end of the game. We still have a few more things to do. And, as I've said before, I thank you for watching all of these episodes billions of episodes there's only about 30 right now there's only gonna be like 30 uh, at least as far as I can hope and we still have time for bonus levels so maybe we shall do those also I want to say that the boss fights in this game are extremely short and they I mean usually they take about as long as a level to beat them not in this game so I just want to make that a point to Nintendo that when you do a boss fight, you gotta at least make it somewhat long. I mean, it's a freaking boss fight. But yeah, that's the end of the game. For now. We still has the, uh, the bonus levels and stuff to do. So you can call this the finale if you are just watching for help on how to get through to the final fight. I don't know why you would need that. But if you want to see the entire game or more of my commentary, it is not over yet. There is still more to come. And the rest of it, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, if I do take a break, I will be... No, I'm not going to take a break. You know what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to go through this whole freaking game and just get it over with. And then after we finish this game, I promise, freaking promise, that when we finish this game, I will not do another Kirby game after this. Because I've done two in a row, and I even think it's a little crazy. And I'm the freaking one who did it. So, I don't know why I did two, two Kirby games in a row, I guess. Like, uh, actually, this one was sort of like a cover-up because I messed up some other LPs in the way to this one. And I had to delete them all. So, if you look at the upload dates, you'll actually see there's like a month or two between this and Kirby 64. So, uh, really sorry about that long time of uh, getting to this LP and find deciding I was going to do it. And I promise that after this, I will do a game that is not Kirby, maybe even not Nintendo. Maybe I'll go to another system entirely for once and do, like, uh, maybe some PlayStation games or some Xbox games. Maybe even some, like, some Sega games, if you're lucky. So, that was the end of the LP. And, uh, good feel. Good feel. The company that made this and Wario Land Shake It. But unlike Wario Land Shake It, this isn't my favorite Nintendo game. Actually, I need to LP that game sometime in the future, but not immediately because I want to freaking stop with the whole Wii LP. Because Wii LPs, it doesn't sound like much work, but it is a lot of work to get a Wii LP working. 
because uh, especially when you get all nervous about the quality going down because the Wii is a more modern system. I don't even know what this is. The next day, Kirby fell asleep in some shade. He dozed happily with wonderful dreams and held the reminder of a dear friend, even though it smelled a bit. Okay then. Thank you for playing. And then it's got all the characters from the game on there. And it's basically like, haha, you beat our game. Now we just gonna tell you thanks, but we're not actually gonna give you any cool prizes. Besides that cool picture, that's actually a pretty cool picture. And then the little thingy, at long last, after 10 minutes, it finally shows the score of the level you got. And we got like three music discs at once. And it's at the main menu. But as you can see, this is my almost 100% file. This is my not 100% file, which is the one we were playing. Which means that we missed some stuff, which is why I'm doing whole other episodes after this. So let's throw this final patch. Not final patch, this is the second to last patch. The freaking baseball bat beat that fruit to death. And let's do this level right now, just to get out of the way. Meta Melon Isle. Wait, what? Yeah, Meta Melon Isle. So, like, listen, this ain't. Did they say like something that said like Meta Will and I was like, what? Or like Modder Willen. Modder Willen. It sounds like a freaking foreign word. And also, and this is my favorite song in the old Kirby games, so just making a point out of it. Oh, my favorite power. The one we all love so very much. The one that hasn't screwed us over once yet, of course. The one is screwed to be over the most time so far. I can't see a thing. Cause the quality felt like being crap. Yet somehow I still did. It. Oh, this level's the one where you do a variety of powers. This is the one that didn't screw us over at all. This is kind of like the rest of these levels are all just kind of like. Run through some other things we've already done. How was I supposed to? Oh, it's this one. Gotta make some obsidian to walk on. Despite the fact this is Minecraft. I wonder if I was a dick and I like. Eh, <laughs> doesn't matter. What the hell is that? I got something. I got something. Oh, at least my favorite power is next. Thank goodness. Also, another enemy is not from the original Kirby games. It's just different. Well, then again, I saw the fire dude here, too. So it's like we're not in the green... The green yet. Also, considering this level, Dreamland has more variety than freaking Patchland has. In Patchland, you take one step from a fire world to an ice world. What is this one? Choo choo train! No! No, no, the choo choo! Oh, this is like that one room from the Great Cave Offensive. Oh, that's cool. What? They expect me to do something with this? Ha! 
I did it. Right there is Nerf. Frickin' this level's a pain in the ass, by the way. They fell, but I certainly didn't, so it's fine. Also, this level is a pain in the ass. Just gonna make the point out of that. Let's go like this. Well, that didn't work. Jesus quality. It's like, it's not going down on the computer screen, it's like going down on my fracking TV screen. Or it actually matters on my side. It's just, uh... Does this actually count? Ha! That actually counted! I didn't think that would actually work. all three treasures but not a very good score not a level I didn't do good I'm actually gonna leave them at bronzes and silvers from now on and if something comes out like I need all the golds to get to a bonus level I will just do it then because I don't feel like doing it now <laughs> and on my other file I had hundred percent with all bronzes and silvers and stuff in there so it doesn't really matter I don't think I think it's as long as you get a medal of some kind The Galaxia Sword Patch. That's actually really cool. Galaxia is like my favorite thing in the whole series. Mainly because it's the only. This is really the only awesome, like really awesome, badass things in the series. With this sword, the halberd, which is also a thing from Kirby Superstar. I love how Nintendo acts like that was the best Kirby game. Which it wasn't. Battleship Halberd is a cool thing, but Superstar was not the best Kirby game, just saying. A lot of people say 64 was, but personally, I'm a huge fan of Amazing Mirror. Because that's one of the ones that was the most confusing, and that was just really fun to do. That's actually going to be a really fun LP when I get around to it. But anyways, in the next episode, we will go to the Battleship Halberd, and that'll be the end of the LP for levels, so they see you then.